A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with mortal anguish, had recourse to the Lord. She lay prostrate upon the ground together with her handmaids from morning until evening and said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, blessed are you. Help me, who am alone and have no help but you, for I am taking my life in my hand. As a child, I used to hear from the books of my forefathers that you, O oh Lord, always free those who are pleasing to you. Now help me, who am alone and have no one but you, O oh Lord, my God. And now, come to help me, an orphan. Put in my mouth persuasive words in the presence of the lion, and turn his heart to hatred for our enemy, so that he and those who are in league with him may perish. Save us from the hand of our enemies. Turn our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O oh Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. A clean heart create for me, O oh God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asked for a loaf of bread, or a snake when he asked for a fish. If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, beloved, good morning to you all. Good morning, Father. So, one of the things um, that we are encouraged to do during the season of Lent, one of the principal things, is to pray, isn't it? And so, today, um, we have two examples of prayer. The first one from the book of Esther, uh, a prayer of a woman who is in distress because the lives of the entire people of Israel um, is under threat from the Persians. So Esther is going to pray and ask for God's intervention, even as she's going before the king to intercede uh, for her, uh, for the intentions of her people. So that is one kind of prayer that perhaps during the season of Lent we should um, consider. You know that most of us are always praying for our own needs. But there is a dimension of prayer that is dedicated also to the need of someone else. That is not really necessarily my own. And we call it intercessory prayer. And I think that we should consider that during the season of Lent, it is a time um, not just to pray for my own intentions, my own needs, my, my exams, my school, my finances, but also to spend time uh, in charity, praying for the needs of someone else. In fact, we have a good excuse during this period because of our brothers and sisters in Ukraine um, and the suffering that they are going through. So there are intentions that we can pray for. Sometimes looking away from my own personal needs and focusing on the needs of someone else is very important. But of course, the gospel reading, uh, Jesus himself also uh, understands that we have our own needs. Therefore, he encourages us to ask. He says, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Um, but then, he then um, gives some very interesting, he says, which of you, if you are a, a father and your child comes and asks for bread, Will you give him a stone? Or if he comes to ask for a fish, will you give him a serpent? And so that is, that is quite interesting. In fact, if you go into the gospel according to Luke and you read the parallel of this passage, um, he, asks, he adds one more dimension. And he says, if he asks for an egg, will you give him a scorpion? But we didn't hear that in Matthew's account. But those three dimensions are quite interesting. First, bread. Then, fish. Then, egg. So three things. And what, I, what actually do they mean? You see, wheat, bread is from wheat, which grows on the ground, on the air, isn't it? So that is the produce of the air. Fish, from the sea water, the egg from the bed in the sky. And the understanding must be clear. God is all provident. He created everything, whether in the heavens, on the earth, or in the sea. So what is it that we want that he cannot provide? It's completely and entirely covered in anything that we need provided great abundance. And that is the reason why Jesus encourages you. Ask. Because your father possesses everything. There's nothing beyond his reach. Nothing material. Nothing spiritual that he cannot give. So as we, uh, as we travel through Lent, um, we will be reminded of the, of the great providence of God and remind ourselves that if he can provide all our physical needs, he can also provide 
our spiritual needs. May the Lord strengthen us. Amen. Amen. Beloved, let's rise to our feet and bring prayer and entreaty before God our Father and confident that he will hear us. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our shepherds in the church who are at times alone in their witness against the hostile environment that they may, like Queen Esther, have recourse to the Lord in fervent and efficacious prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That our Lenten fasting may serve to help those who must fast by necessity, and our small experiences of their daily lot make our hearts humble and compassionate. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That encouraged by the words of Jesus, we may learn to ask, knock, and seek with more persistence and confidence in our prayer for all the intentions that have been recommended to us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that God may turn their mourning into gladness and their sorrows into wholeness in his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Hail Mary, full of, full of grace, grace, the Lord, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. 